Hey, it's Soleil, and this is episode 248 of the Orange Pill Investor. I had to hurry up and jump online to catch a little bit of the excitement. So somebody just pinged me and was like, MSTR just broke 200. And so if you're looking at this chart, we're looking at all time freaking highs, let alone, you know, 52 week highs. And I'm going to do some YOLO DGEN shit for fun. Uh, just in case, and I'm going to have to do this quick, just in case people FOMO into some stuff like this, I'm going to do a zero DTE long call purchase. So let's go, let's get some cheap ones at 215 and let's just get a lot. So let's go 20. And I don't want to pay 19 if I don't have to. Let's do try 18. It's only going to cost 400 bucks ish. Where's my working order? Here we go. All right. So pay a little bit more. Let's pay 20. Yeah, see the bid ask spread on MicroStrategy still kind of sucks. Let's do 23. I'm thinking he's gotta fill by at least 25 for fuck's sake. Okay, we got 23. So if MicroStrategy continues to um fever into buying this four hundred dollars will either balloon or just completely shit the bed in the next couple of hours. Um, this is, this is, I guess we're, we're calling this momentum trading. And, uh, I used to follow some momentum traders on clubhouse back in the day. And, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's exciting to say the least, but, um, if, you know, a lot of times when something gets feverish like this, it'll at least go up to the next whole number. Like if you get to 193, a lot of times it'll just get to 200. So since this is at like 203, I'm going to, uh, you know, just cross my fingers that it goes to 210 or 220 or something today. Uh, in the next five hours. And so I don't have, I can't just watch this. You know, these momentum traders would just sit there and stare at the chart, you know. Um, and you got to have, you, you got to have at least 25 grand in your account to even day trade. Otherwise you'll get day trade strike, day trade strikes and you'll get, uh, you won't have access to your account. So, So this is a trip. So what did I bought these for 2266 and just for the length of time that I've been talking, I could close these for double the for double my money just because the price has gone up a dollar or two. Um I'm not I'm not going to do that because this is kind of like ah uh, <laughs> if if the price goes up another ten dollars these these get kind of insane so doubling up here is kind of like you know for these momentum traders a doubling would be just kind of like nah what's the point <laughs> so this is going to be fun no matter what i mean this is uh 20 of these is was at a 400 dollar 400 bucks in lottery tickets so i mean i could but here's the other thing too i could sell half and get my 200 bucks back and now the other 10 are just profit but i'm gonna try to ladder these so let's close let's try to close five positions
Oh, what in the hell am I doing at the 20? Oh, fuck. Did I buy? Oh, <laughs> I was looking at the wrong ones. Where are the... Uh... Oh, God. Here they are. Okay, I was about to... <laughs> I was about to sell all 20 of my leaps. And, um, so I should really start wearing my glasses in these fucking things. Okay, so they are not up double. They're only up, what is it? Um, almost double, but like 50%. So if I wanted to sell these, Actually, god damn it, how does this hap keep happening? Okay, let's just clear the stupid ass order. I got so hyped, I'm trying to rush in here and get this done. And so now I'm trying to fuck things up. So within just a couple of minutes, I could sell these for about a 50% profit. Right, I bought them for four hundred, and five minutes later, they're worth six hundred. But let's ladder into these, into the cell. Let's do five at double. This may not happen, but you know, whatever. Um, what did I buy them for? Twenty-two. Yeah, 0.23. So let's do a double at 46. <laughs> Maybe this works out. Maybe it does not. Let's sell five more. At a triple. Let's do like 0.66. Point six nine, that's even better. And let's try to sell five at uh, okay. I think I already just sold five of them. <laughs> Uh, let's sell five at, uh, a five X. So what is that? Five times 23, 115. And let's sell the last five at, uh, 10 X. So 2.3. So already, already sold. So basically doubled up on the, uh, on five of the 20 that I bought. And then let's see, the current price is 0.33. So it'll be interesting to see oh, 0.42. All right. So those will either be winners or losers over the next five hours. So that'll be fun. But um, now that that now that that fun part is 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 done, I'm going to uh, do my Friday roll day. I'm trying to speed run through this bad boy because I got shiz to do. So I'm just going to start with Tesla. I forgot. Uh, I forgot how badly the market reacts to these events that they have. So I can easily buy this back for 300 bucks, sold it for 11. So I will take my $800 in profit on this. See if they fill me at the mid price. Thank you. Now, I don't know if I want to bag hold on Tesla like I am on MicroStrategy. I'm not terribly like 
afraid of Tesla. So let's see, do I want to go 45 days out? What can I even get? Let's see if I can get four times the premium. So we go to like eight or 900 bucks. I can sell, when's Tesla's earnings? 1023. So I will probably take these off in two weeks anyway. That That works. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's do the 240 strike. All right, sold it for 11, bought it back for three, sold one at 42 DTE for nine. And then in two weeks, depending on what Tesla's price does, I'll close this ahead of earnings in case they get an earnings gap up. All right, Tesla's done, did he done? Um, actually, since the price is down, I think I should probably use this opportunity to get back into Tesla leaps. When I'm buying dips, I like the idea of buying leverage. So what are the leaps that I had a ways back? June 18th, 540s. Those were 1700. June 540s. Those are only uh, two bucks now. I think I might have been misreading that. What was it? Oh, that was June of 2026, I think, because that's 600 days to expiration. Okay, that makes sense. June 18th, 2026. So these 540s are 1300 and I sold them for 17. So I could get these on a discount. Uh, but let's go. Let's make sure they're at least 360 days out. I can get a couple. Well, I just sold that one for nine. So let's go ahead and use that premium to purchase a leaps. Selling short to go long. Let me increase the price, get this filled. Just walking this up a little bit to try to get a fill for the cheapest price possible. And I like that. Collected 900, reinvested the premium into uh, a nice leaps that I can just watch and uh, not worry about the value decaying too quickly. All right, MicroStrategy. I've got my 20 leaps here, nothing to do. I've got this additional September that I bought earlier this week on the dip. I've got... I've still got my three speculative long calls. These are not leaps because they're under a year old. But on this pump, I could sell these for the most that I've been able to collect on any of these. I doubled up on some. I tripled up on some. So I might as well quadruple up on one. So let's close one. Try to get close to the mid price. 
that'll work. And I'll keep two more just in case MicroStrategy goes to 220, 250, or a bajillion. And I did sell these three covered calls when MicroStrategy was doing good things this week. But <laughs> these two are already getting ugly. And, um, but I've got 42 days. So even if MicroStrategy pumps to 220, 230, 250 this week or next week, it's got time to kind of, uh, you know, regress, find resistance, settle back down to find support. Who knows? But having three of my 22 at risk, three of 300 of my 2200 shares at risk is not a big, you know, not too bad. But it also makes me want to potentially sell. Yeah, I don't know. What 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 could I do if I sell an aggressive at the money covered call? I can get like 700 bucks just for one. Not sure I want to do that. I really want to be disciplined with this and wait for the wait for the big one. So I will go ahead and not do anything rash. MicroStrategy is kind of coming back down to earth a little bit, but we'll see. There's still four hours of trading left. All right, the IRA account. Don't think I have to do anything here. This is 28 days to expiration. I peeled off three of these yesterday, I think it was. Um, if I closed these leaps, so I bought them for seven grand a pop. They're now worth 12.5. So that's not quite 50% profit, or actually it is. 50% uh, would get, would be 10.5. Yeah, so yeah, like 60, 70% profit on these. I could close these and then buy shares. That's kind of the point with these is buying, buying long calls. And then when they've appreciated more than the shares would have, and even though that micro strategy is at all time highs, I don't necessarily have to like wait for a dip because the dip may never come, but I can book. $5,500 worth of profits on each of these leaps and then use that money to buy shares. And this is an IRA, so it's a cash account. So there's no margin risk or anything like that. And then if the price of MicroStrategy does kind of collapse, it doesn't really matter because shares are shares. I would, let's see, if I sell both of these, that gives me 25 grand, which would let me buy 100 shares. I would be trading in two poor men's covered calls for 100 shares. And that's going to, instead of being able to sell two covered calls, I'll only be able to sell one for the same price. And then I would have no leaps whatsoever unless I roll up my strikes to a cheaper strike. All right, sell for 25 grand, pay 20 for 100 shares. Interesting. Of course, I do have four leaps. 
I could just sell one, sell the four leaps. That would give me the other eight that I need to buy 100 shares with. Uh, but I like, I like the prospects of these leaps over the next year of <laughs> far exceeding the returns on shares. Let me see what would happen if I sell. Covered call. At the 250 on this pump. Ugh, I just sold. Uh, I just sold a cover call in the main account because I didn't switch. Okay. I just added a two fifty here. That's kind of annoying. But at this point, I'm not, I don't want to just. Yeah. Okay. I need to pay the fuck attention. All right. So no big deal. Now I have four covered calls. And um, 2,200 available. No big deal. However, I still need to sell the one that I was going to sell here in the first place. Sell a 250. That gives me 1400 in buying power. So let's buy seven shares. All right, I think that's it. I have 300 shares, two leaps. That lets me sell five covered calls. I'm only selling covered calls on three of the five potentials. And I've got four way out of the money leaps that we're going to let cook. All right, in this account, I've got this 160 MicroStrategy put. I thought I was going to be able to close this, but I'm not going to close it until it's worth less than 550 ish. And. Let me just check my uh, my margin balance here. Yeah, I'm not using any margin here. I was going to sell a covered call in this pump, but since I sold one in the other account, I'll just call it good for this one. Let's take the unlimited upside on this 100 shares. And let this ride. Yeah, nothing to do here, I don't think, else. So let's take a look at the... 5k account this one pisses me off because <laughs> i'm like oh i got a bunch of buying power let me just dollar you know let me just add another 
test the long call position and I forgot how bad the market actually reacts to these damn things. So I bought one yesterday for 115 and now they're only worth 50. So now I'm gonna buy two more of these damn things and dollar cost average it down a little bit. Okay, so now my dollar cost average is 75. That's a better, um, better proposition. Now these are only at February, so I'll be looking to dump these in another month for sure, I'm thinking, month, month and a half. But let's deal with what I really need to deal with. So October 11th, I've got the CLSK put expiring today. And I was, I was actually kind of had my fingers crossed that this would expire under $9 so that I could get my average CLSK cost down. They're at like 15 right now, so it's kind of sad. But let me just buy this back for two bucks. There's no point in leaving this on here. And let's check my buying power. So I don't even think I'm using any margin in this account anymore. That is always good news. So yeah. I've got about 1500 in cash. So let's sell another CLSK put for next week. I'm going to be very aggressive with this because like I said, I, I don't care if I get assigned and actually kind of looking forward to getting assigned. So I'm going to go ahead and sell a nine again. That's about, 3% return. And let's see what effect that had on my buying power. Oh, well, I just closed one and opened one. So let's do another one. Let's go. Silas K. So put next week. It says that I have four grand in buying power, but I don't trust Robin Hood's algorithm. Refresh, see if this updates. Okay, so I think my what buying power dropped like two grand, even though I only used nine hundred dollars worth of collateral so um that's what this 1800 is of collateral i believe so i can actually do another one or maybe even two i'm just gonna do them one at a time and see just because i don't trust robin hood's margin calculations All right, let's refresh. Yeah, see it's dropping by like two grand at a time even though I'm only using 900. But, you have a $2,000 margin buffer. Let's, let's view details. Let's see what kind of information they're gonna give me here. Yeah, see I can't even tell. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to overextend myself on this account because if CLSK crashes to $5 a share or something stupid, I don't want to take any chances. All right, that's it. I've got three at the money puts I sold for next week. Collected about 3% premium on each. If I get assigned, that will greatly help my <laughs> CLSK average cost, which is like $15 a share. Yeah. So sad times there. 
Everything else is 1122. So I won't have to deal with these until what? Way later this month. I bought two leaps. No, not leaps, sorry. Two long calls for Tesla. Dollar cost averaged into those since they're on discount today. And I think that is good for now. Um, let's just check in on MicroStrategy's price. So 203. So these other these other positions may do nothing. You know, I may end up losing what? Losing on these um you know, YOLOs. Um Spent 400, already booked profits on five of them and doubled up. So I think I got paid like a hundred bucks on those. Um, I actually got paid, yeah, made a hundred because I, they cost me a hundred, sold them for like 200. So that'll be fun. If if these fire, I'll update the uh, in the comments. But uh, yeah, got four hours for MicroStrategy to hit 210, 220 for those to actually do anything big. All right. Uh, be good, y'all.